My background is in computer science. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do so. I had an interest in biology, but I had not done any biology previously. So I was looking around to see where I could find a course where I could bring in all the uh, information, all the knowledge that I've learned from computer science into biology to see how I could make use of it. I wanted to see what way we could try and use computer science to try and help people to change lives, not just go directly into industry and start developing software. The cool thing about this course was that that's exactly the skill set that I got. It was open to anyone who was having a STEM degree, basically. They explained everything from the beginning and there was like a really good support system. All the lecturers were fantastic. We start with different kind of Cassidy sets and we learn about the patients and I got a good understanding of how I could translate all the technology side of things that I had learned then into the biology side of things, then to actually end up developing systems, which is what I currently do, to understand and to um, actually advance precision medicine. Because everything that we do here, we are trying to better the lifespans of uh, patients. At the end of my master's course, so you get to do a project. So I built a prototype framework for an existing framework um, within Queen's and um, they, that really sparked an interest, which was what actually led to my PhD at the minute. Um, which I'm doing in Queens. Um, I actually have a spin-out company from that, so it's been really successful so far. It's been a very good experience. The exposure that I got in terms of working with the biologists and working in bioinformatics was really positive. The experience you get within Queens is really valuable, regardless of whether you want to stay in industry or whether you want to go into academia. You really do have um, the best of both worlds to select from.